Today we're going to learn about functions and classes, and we're going to go over an example of a class, which is the Hangman program. So what are classes? Classes are blueprints for creating programs. Inside a class, you create an object, its variables, and its functions. For example, we have a class called cat. The cat is the object of the class. It's what we're creating inside the class. And the cat's functions would be nap, purr, play, eat, sleep, etc. You declare a class using the keyword class. And then you have the name of the class. And then inside, you would have all the, all the functions and then all the variables of the class. The init function allows you to pass in information to the class. It's, all, it's used in all classes and is needed to create your object. You can put parameters in this function to assign properties to your object. For example, here we have the class person, we have the def init function, and then inside we have three parameters, self, name, and age. Self is the keyword to tell the computer that you're creating an object. So you always have to have the word self as a parameter in all the functions of your class. The name and age are two different variables that we're going to use to characterize our person. Name is the name of our person and age is the age of our person. So inside the function, we're, we're making these variables, we're instantiating these variables, or we're telling the computer that they belong to our person. So we have self.name equals name and self.age equals age. So that what, the, what the word self.name is telling the computer is that whatever variable, whatever value is stored inside name, that's the name of our person. It's the name of our object, which we call self. And then for the bottom, self.age equals age, we're telling the computer whatever value age is, we're making that the age of our object. So self.age is telling the computer, this is the age of our object, of whatever object we're creating. And then to create an object, you would type the word name equals object, and then you would have all the parameters. So for example, if I had a class called dog, to create and to actually create a dog, I would type puppy, equals dog, and then the name is Lucky. So what this does is it's creating a variable called puppy, and then inside the variable, it's an object, it's a dog object with the name Lucky. So like I mentioned previously, you always need the self parameter to refer to the current object of the class. So in the init function, you always have to have the self parameter. And then in all other functions of the class, you also need the self function. And then when you're referring to the variables that your object has, you always start off the, you always have to put self dot and then the name of the variable. So you can add methods or functions to your class. And these are functions that belong to your object. We have the class person, and then we have the init function that creates a name and an age, and then we have a function called myFunk, and then it takes self. So it prints, hello, my name is self.name. So what the function does is it greets, what, it greets um, our user. It prints, hello, my name is, and then whatever, whatever the name of our object so try it yourself. Create a dog class with one variable called name. Create a function called greeting that prints the name of the dog. And then now let's look, in a, look at an example of a real life Python function. So this is a hangman function. It lets us play hangman.
So I won the hangman game and the word was catastrophe. So this is an example of what we can do using user input, loops, and conditionals. So right here, we're taking user input, we're asking the user the name, and then we're printing their name and plus time to play hangman. And then here we have a while loop to make sure that the person only gets a certain number of turns and that the game ends if they don't guess it. Then we have a for loop, looping through every character in our secret word. If you get the correct letter, it adds it to the word, and then if not, it prints a dash. And then you take the input for the user when they guess their character, and then if, if the turn doesn't work, you print wrong, and then if the turn works, you print correct, and then if you lose, if turns equals zero, you lose. So this is an example of how we can put everything we've learned into one program that we can interact with and have fun with. You don't have to understand how this program works, but I want you guys to understand that Python and everything we've learned can be used to create so many different things. And then that is all for today's lesson. And then to recap, functions are blocks of code that only run when they are called. Methods are functions that belong to an object. Classes create objects and their properties and their functions. And we use the word self to refer to the object.